Ronnie, which country is the safest to go if World War Three happens? The safest to go if World War Three. Believe it or not, Canada is probably one of the safest ones. The only thing you have to fear in Canada is your own government, right? Because it's fucking tyrannical. Canada is fucking tyrannical government. One of the most vile fucking bunch of politicians you've ever seen on this planet, right? Really, just absolutely fucking vomit-inducing, right? So vomit-inducing. Wow, well, we won't go there. Completely vomit-inducing, right? They're passing a law right now that they're they're working on it. Maybe it'll be passed that they want to be able to send Canadians to prison for life for hate speech or hate thought, right? Hate thought. Like this is like some dystopian shit. If they think that you're thinking of hate against a certain group then they can send you to prison for life anonymously someone can file a complaint against you and sue you for like thousands tens of thousands of dollars right and you can't even defend yourself because you don't know who it is or what they're claiming to be right and there's you know there's going to be a party of you know select people woke people that are going to be in a committee to decide if you're guilty or not right but in terms of World War Three, the odds of bombs being dropped on you in Canada are almost zero, right? But you might spend the rest of your life in prison. Okay. So it is what it is. It is what it is. Right. Uh, as far as where's safe place, uh, there's got to be safe places in Africa. I just don't know my safe places in Africa. Africa's fucking gigantic, right? You could take the United States, China, Germany, France, Italy, uh, India, put them all in the, and it all fits in Africa. So I'm pretty sure there's safe places in Africa. I just don't know where they are. I don't know where they are. There's probably safe places. Bolivia, Paraguay, Uruguay, right? The safest place is where you have the most amount of rights. So you have to figure that out. For me right now, the place where I have the most amount of rights for now, I don't know how long it's going to last, is Canada. But those rights have been taken away in the last four years in a big way, in a big way. So Canada is on full-blown collapse mode, full-blown collapse mode. 